tucked away in New Zealand's South Island, Glenmore Station sits between Aereke Mount Cook and Lake Tikipo. In winter, the snow-covered Cass Valley becomes a playground for ski touring, offering solitude and adventure. Well, my husband is fourth generation on Glenmore, so the Murray family have been guardians of this station for over 100 years now. And our children, um, we hope, will one day run the place and be fifth generation here. Um, Memorial Hut, which is one of the historical oh, mustering huts on Glenmore, has also been a good base for ski tours over the years. Subsequently, we then built the Falcon's Nest Hut uh, and then the Whiskey Hut up on the ridge between the two huts, which is always thoroughly enjoyed. And then uh, two years ago, we established the O'Leary's Hut up above uh, Waterfall Hut. The routes at Glenmore Station are not for the faint-hearted. They stretch awesome. across rolling ridges and descend into deep chutes, offering pristine, untouched runs deep in the mountains. The highlight for me was dropping in over the back from Bad Decision Hut. You know, those chutes were like super long half pipe, it was steep, we had solid fresh snow, some of the best I'd ever ridden in New Zealand. It was a long hike up and my legs were burning, but there was just nothing better than that feeling of a rooster tail and powder flying up every turn. Just an epic ride all the way down to Falcon's Nest. Skiing the faces between Whiskey Hut and Falcon Nest Hut. Absolute blast. The day we did the Scorpion, we were lucky enough to have amazingly clear weather and very little wind. We had gone past the highest point and skied down and we were skinning along a beautiful valley. I can remember just stopping to listen to the silence. It's incredible. It was quite an experience not to hear anything just for that brief few moments. Then of course I had to carry on slogging up the valley. Towards the end of the day you arrive at Bad Decision Hut. Here you search for your pre-ordered whiskey bottle. Tales are told and the whiskey helps soften the memories of the long climbs and improves our skiing for the last run home. The whiskey hut is, provides whiskey at the highest altitude um, of anywhere in the world as far as we know. So um, we're pretty proud of what we've developed up there. During the Scorpion, and we got to a particularly tight corner when uh, Anthony managed to fall off the mountain. He didn't go far and he was kind of stuck. The funny part was, he, after he had rescued himself and got going, not only did I do exactly the same thing on the same corner, but after extricating myself, I managed to do it again for the third time on the same corner. On our last day, uh, I was watching Andy ski down to meet me. He did this uncharacteristically funny little turn and fell over in a patch of fresh powder. It turned out his ski had come off, flown straight past me, had hit a snowbank, had launched up and over into the valley below. And if it wasn't for the launch angle, it would have kept going several hundred meters down the mountain. But uh, luckily, it went up and down, landed not so far away, so crisis averted. Uh, 2012 we built the initial um, north wing of Lady Emily with the four beds for ski touring which became really popular so two years later we built the south wing on so making it um, a total of 10 beds there um, to my horror um, my husband named the original Lady Emily Hut after me Emily Murray so um, I'm sure generations to come there'll be a good story to tell. Thanks Blair. Thank Thanks, what would be in the perfect cut? Well of course all the usual things. You know, source of heat, a warm bed, running water, 
I reckon that one thing we miss the most on these multi-day tours is cold beer. We work out a pay it forward system where the hut before, the group before, starts brewing beer. They bring in the ingredients, get the brew going, and then the next group brings in the next lot of ingredients. But they enjoy the cold beer the previous group has brewed before. I reckon I'm onto a winner here. We all have opinions on best hut ideas. Obviously getting warm and dry quickly is important, so good wood burner, critical. Maybe Emily did that right, it's great insulation. Collecting water for cooking and hydration is important too, but there's got to be a better way than melting snow and ice off the roof into pots. Personally, I love good coffee, and highlight was Andrew's portable and espresso. Your Pesha Mountain Hut needs three things. A helicopter for access, running water, and free whiskey. To ski to a Glenmore station is to step into a place where time slows, where the land's raw beauty offers a challenge and reward in equal measure. We just love sharing uh, that with people who um, go up there and, and visit them more and go and enjoy uh, the hills. Have you been on or are you planning a big adventure? Our short film service, Short Films Big Adventures, will turn your once in a lifetime bucket list adventure into a stunning, interesting film that you can share and enjoy with family and friends forever. Visit shortfilmsbigadventures.com to find out more.